Hey everybody, it's my first video. I'm gonna post it outside for horseshoe hookup. Uh, this is just a side perspective about, you know, everything Colts football, uh, past, present, maybe even the future. Um, just want to check in. It's Tony um, with the horseshoe hookup and kind of give my uh, perspective after three weeks here. Um, I thought I'd give it a little bit of time. Um, to see how Carson Wentz has played. I think everybody has really got a different perspective. I think to this point he's played well. I mean, if you look at everything considering, we really have no running game, a makeshift offensive line. You know, we really miss Costanzo. Um, I think that was one of the biggest losses that we had. Um, Honestly, on that line, I'm not so sure he wasn't the best player on the line, not Quentin Nelson. I mean, obviously, statistics show that Quentin is elite, but, um, you know, Costanzo was was the man, number 78, anchor left tackle, you know, one of the best, in my opinion. Uh, did it for 10 years, solid. Never really got a lot of glory, but... Uh, a solid player nonetheless so we miss him um you know you know this is one of those things where oh and three it's not impossible to come back from we show we can do it i don't know with this offensive line if that's the case uh the play calling and the coaching decisions have been suspect at best in my opinion um if you can't score in the red zone you can't win games so um when you got to settle for field goals it's sad. Yes, we do have a good kicker, you know, Rod, but it's just not going to get it done. Kicking field goals just isn't going to get it done. And Frank Reich, I think sometimes he wants to go for it early in the game, which is a mistake. Um, take the points. I think most people would agree. He talks about percentages and so on and so forth, but um, I guess I'm old school. I say just take the points i mean you get all the way down there we can move the football we just can't put it in the end zone i think that's obvious everybody out there knows so the question is where do we go from here um at miami this week with Brissett playing quarterback i think our defense will get after him you know i think we practice against Brissett, so we know his strengths weaknesses so i think that's to our advantage um i don't see Brissett beating us i think we get the first w this week and uh you know, hopefully it's uh, the first of a few to come here in a row to get back in this thing. But we're not out of it in any mean, by any means. And kudos to the defense. But um, I just kind of want to talk about the offense in this first video. So, um, yeah, I think Naheem Hines, I think he can be a positive player. And, um, you know, Pittman's emerging. If we can just catch the football, I think we'll be good. I just want to see Tyler Granson out there. Uh, where's Granson? So he's supposed to be a playmaker. I haven't we haven't really seen him, and you know now the rumor is Marlon Mack gets tra once traded. So I think he's not going to play here. He knows that. Maybe that was Ballard's goal all along. I don't know. Uh, Resign him one year deal and trade him, but um, we'll see. So um, yeah, you guys stay tuned for this horseshoe hookup. Uh, it should be interesting content. Um, I hope you like it. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, and share, um, and check me out, Horseshoe Hookup. Till next time, go Colts.